Hey everybody, this is Jeff from Special Set of Skills, and welcome to Postal 3. <clears throat> Tried this once before, didn't go too famously, but we're gonna try it again. <clears throat> I'd tell you the backstory, but I think the dude's about to tell you himself, so... If you've never played Postal 2, uh, expect some over-the-top shit, honestly. Um... This game is not known for its subtlety. Nor is it known for holding anything back. And uh, yes, I am actually going to be playing this blind. I've never actually played it before. So it should be interesting to see how that goes. Holy shit, this is a long loading screen. with a man known only as the Postal Dude. Ugh, I hate that fucking name. Uh, okay. Do you have a real name? Uh, I forget. Uwe Ball. Don't do drugs. <laughs> Too much green health herb. Or meth. <laughs> Just kidding, kids. Do as I say, not as I do. Okay. So... I've read that you were in paradise before it was completely devastated by the unsolved nuclear incident. Yeah, due to an unfortunate uh, subprime mortgage malfunction, I was forced to relocate to a much nicer neighborhood with my beautiful wife. I'd just been hired by one of America's premier video game companies. Management decided that I was overworked and needed a sabbatical. Nothing personal, man, but you're fine. I used the time to check some errands off my list. Got Gary Coleman's autograph, that was pretty sweet. Picked up some steaks, played with elephants, went to confession, and visited my dad's grave. Cause that's how I roll. Speaking of religion, weren't you at the Church of Dave compound during the massacre? Yeah, it was my Uncle Dave's birthday. I got him one of those bad touch crotchy figures. Those things were harder to get than strangle bait Elmo. Awesome part <laughs> day at Dave's until the man showed up. I'm pretty sure they had the wrong address. Anyway, it wasn't really a religious cult. It's more like a cheap scam for Dave to hook up with Christian chicks. Apparently, they go nuts for the whole. I am the reincarnation of Jehovah. Kneel down and watch me play a wicked guitar solo thing. I was impressed. Anyway, after my uh, unfortunate firearms accident, my beautiful wife left me. I was devastated. My <laughs> neighborhood was lousy with sewer Taliban, and the mad cow Tourette zombie epidemic broke out. So me and Champ decided it was time to get out of town. Besides, about 20 other games were set in cities called Paradise by now. Right. So you were at the Paradise Municipal Bridge when the tragedy struck. Ooh, and that's where we pick up. I didn't even finish Saturday and Sunday from Postal 2, which was the DLC, but... So there could have actually been zombies, and I didn't actually know about that. Fitting music, really. <clears throat> I'm not a zombie, dammit. Fuck. Use cover. Gotcha. Ow. And there's the zombies. Surprise. was a really cheap shot. Hope you learned a lot about the fucking health system, Skippy. <laughs> Fuck this shit. Yes, there is no shortage of blood, puke, piss, poop, I'm imagining at some point. There's no shame in postal games. Okay, so... Oh, we want to go this way, gotcha. Hey, 
And our health regenerates. That's good. We didn't get health regeneration in two. Say, that's a perfectly good box of grenades. I'd hate to see him go to waste. I want to say it's the same guy that voiced the dude in two, but. Not sure. <laughs> oh great, they spit too. That's helpful. Gotcha. And if they hit something, they blow up right away. That's good. Did that far better than I did the first time, that's for damn sure. Aw, oh, those guys look scared and cold down there. Would it be wrong of me to want to warm them up? Nah. Hold fire to poor gasoline when you're satisfied with the result. Okay. Why do you hate America? <laughs> Smells like cremated chicken. No, light them all on fire. Mm, slow roasted goodness. So that's what that smells like. Say, that actually smells kind of good. Well, fucking die. This is ridiculous, man. Time to partay with Mr. Napalm. And I can't go down there either. Mom always said not to play with fire, but I hate my mom. There you go. That only bacon, took bacon, bacon, bacon. <laughs> that only took fourteen minutes. Gee, this bridge rules. There's useful shit lying all over the place. Pepper spray. This should be entertaining, at least. some helpful on-screen text will suggest something. <laughs> Use pepper spray to stun the enemy. Continue spraying to knock them out. Approach the stun enemy and press action to perform a human shield. Okay. Oh, it's a mini flamethrower. Woo! Ooh, shit. I should probably actually get out the pepper spray. That actually smells kind of good. Bacon, bacon, bacon. Oh, help me, help me. I never found myself. Actually, ran out of pepper spray. I had to use the old M16. Suddenly, the ranking commander appeared. I was impressed with the way I totally did not kill his men. He needed some help because apparently some lunatic was taking out all his guys. <laughs> I'm in charge of a vital anti-terror operation. But I can't really talk about it this time. Make sure nobody touches these bridge controls. Nobody. Got a soldier? No problemo. We're gonna touch it, aren't we? <laughs> I'm getting a Ren and Stimpy flashback here. 
The shiny button! The... I don't remember what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fuck it up. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna push it. I do it. <laughs> Not like it's a nuke button. Well, I'm convinced there was some kind of miscalculation that caused an unexpected incident with the bridge. <laughs> really? That's fascinating. What happened? I kind of felt like my calling was elsewhere and decided it was time to move on. Plus, I had seen things. Horrible things. And, of course, there was that unfortunate nuclear deal that was totally not my fault. I, I mean, whoever it was might not have even known it was a nuke they were arming. <laughs> and paradise was totally destroyed. Tragic. They still haven't found who caused that. Really? That's awesomely horrible. What a shame. So sincere. So now we are entering catharsis. And uh I honestly have no idea what's going to happen. I Seriously, I have no idea what's going to happen. But if it's any indication of how Postal 2 was, this is going to get kind of crazy. And these loading screens. God damn. Enough to make you want to blow your brains out. You might encounter a few such total douchebags that'll... Prove your karma when killed, but there are very few of them. Oh. So you ended up in Catharsis, Arizona. Yeah, my car was out of gas. Unfortunately, due to the global economic meltdown. You remember the global economic meltdown? Gas was retarded expensive. Jesus. One of the town's key industries was hiring, and I was perfectly qualified. Okay, champ, you wait out here. Hello, anyone home? I'm here about the temp job. Hello. Porn fighter. Good to meet you, kid. You're hired. Oh God, no. <laughs> it was the cold and flu season, and Ron's patrons were littering the floor with sticky Kleenex balls. Ron gave me the tools for the job. Explained how to use the old fire button to suck up and store the nasty byproducts. Seriously? This is fucked up. All right, we gotta pick up jizz rags. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Um, oh, God, I could shoot them too. So this looks like a meaningless quest to... I never thought I'd ever say this in my life. Vacuum up jizz rags. No, I don't want to shoot them out. Fucking disgusting. Before you all go off and say that this is probably as far as this game is going to get, uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. Not you bitches again. What the fuck? Ron's establishment was besieged by a cadre of angry hockey mobs on a self-righteous mission to clean up the moral turpitude of catharsis. 
Gee, I wonder who that looks like. An intense aversion to sticky Kleenex wads. Maybe they were allergic. I pity their husbands. Ron strongly suggested that I launch some wads and drive those crazed milfs out of his store. Oh my god. Okay, so coming through. We gotta get these chicks out of here. Trust me, your husband would approve. Old crowd, there's plenty for everyone. <sighs> Guns? Really? Come on, it's not the first time you've experienced that. Oh, I'm almost out of jizz rags. Say hello to my little friends. <laughs> Can I just punch him to death? Is it politically cool to feel like shit? Wow. This is going swimmingly. Okay. So, this is not going the way that uh, I thought this was going to go. Mostly as I'm failing miserably. Oh, feels so good. It's what? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I almost feel sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so. This probably wasn't the greatest idea. Thanks for continuously uh, giving me jizz rags to to use. It's <laughs> not Watsy. Yeah, sure. I didn't know Valve had a shader for that. Oh, that's funny. Say hello to my little friends. <laughs> that's gross. Well, Ron's almost dead. Um... Need more jazz. Okay, Ron's dead. And we completely failed as a person, so um live and learn and then do it again. Uh but we're gonna do that next time on Postal Three.